Hey guys, Justin Welch here with Welch Fishing. Today I wanted to go over with you guys a few of my spring water baits that I use for my tournament that's coming up here. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't, subscribe to my page, Welch Fishing. And uh, also you can catch me on Facebook and uh, Instagram, same thing, Welch Fishing. But uh, some, of the, some of the setups I use, um, this one right here, Johnny Morris Carbon Light Signature Series 7.2 Medium Action. Uh, it's got uh, Kevin Van Dam Signature Series uh, fluorocarbon on it, 8 pound test. The bait of choice I like to use, one of my favorites for springtime fishing when those fish are t chasing shad. A VMC 3.8 jig head with a Bass Pro Pro Blue Signature Series uh, swim bait. Like this, uh, really great profile for the swim bait, very similar to a Kitek, uh, but it's got a, a silver and a kind of a, a, a pearl, pearl silver bottom, uh, kind of a reddish color. Uh, very natural to a, very natural to um, a shad, that's why I like it. My next go to, same thing, same setup. This one's a 7.6, medium action, Johnny Marsh reel. Um, this one's for my drop shot and the good thing or the thing that i like about the drop shot that i have uh you know people have their own ways of doing it but vmc makes a one out hook with a swivel kind of in it with two uh tie where you can tie your knots at so one up here and then one for your weight um it's a one out hook like i said very simple to do. I just throw a clinch knot on, on all of it and uh, call it a day. But uh, great for targeting those bass in deeper water. Next one is my go to trusty. Uh, this one's a carbon, or not a carbon light. Uh, this one's a lightning rod with the Abu Garcia reel, seven foot. Don't throw anything pretty much under seven foot other than one rod that I'll show you here shortly. Uh, the trusty net head uh, this one has the weedless guard on it typically throw this around a lot of rock bluffs sometimes from some some grassy areas but uh i've made the switch bam googling baits my favorite's peanut butter and jelly the reason why i watch a lot of wheeler videos um he believes in the products so i thought i'd try it out but the thing i like is that rattle for those fish that might be lethargic here shortly um, to get a reaction bite but if not I'm trying to find my hula stick don't know where it's at if not i'll go to all these z-man stuff that you see right here that's my favorite z-man but uh the old trusty hula stick purple brown peanut butter and jelly like i said but the thing i like is that tail action right there on my ned Great for those bass, uh, especially on bluffs and rocks. I catch a bunch of them on there. But uh, next choice is kind of the same setup. This one actually has a Johnny Morris reel on it. But you can see there, Wacky Worm, Gary Yamamoto, black and blue. Can't go wrong with that. Weedless uh, hook. If they're not biting that, I'll throw it uh, Texas style or even Nico style. Um, let's see here. Next one, same setup as before. Lightning rod with uh, Abu Garcia reel. This one just got just has a three out hook. I'll throw a fluke shad on that for those fish that are on bed. Um, you know, something that kind of gets down and just gives it kind of that bait fish profile to get that reaction. Uh, Pearl white is what I like to use a zoom fluke shad. Check that out if you haven't. Then next, the old shaky head. Throw it with the finesse worm. Uh, Bass Pro is what I use. I typically use a lot of Bass Pro stuff because my dad works for them. Um, but I don't. I, I believe in their product. There's nothing really different than what's out there on the market other than brand name. Um, but yeah, I'll throw that with a green pumpkin or a green pumpkin uh, chartreuse tail. And last but not least, if those fish are chasing shad and see that water boiling you, you want something to get out there trust the old pop R. this one's on the lightning rod with a quantum reel 
Uh, again, Bass Pro, Pop R. Um, now, let's talk about my bait casting setups. This one's a Bill Dance Quantum Series. Uh, got it for free. That's why I have it. It's a 6.6. Six. This is the only rod that I'll throw that's a 6.6. Six. It's got a walking bait on it. Again, Bass Pro, Pearl White walking bait. 17-pound um, fluorocarbon Kevin Van Dam series. Only reason why I use it 6.6 six is because um, so my rod tip doesn't hit the water. And uh, that's kind of why I like to keep my rod tip down and really work that work that bait fast. Next is the A rig. Um, I believe I have the Yum Junior on there with a uh, quarter ounce heads and again the Pro Blue Speed Shad. This one is set up on a Jan Johnny Morris Carbon Light Reel and a loose. Uh, rod that I had gotten from the Big Bass Tour. Great setup. Catch a lot of fish when those those fish you're trying to find those fish in that cold water. You know they're chasing shad. It's a good way to get that bite. Whether that's uh, I, I catch them a lot around rocks and bluffs, but open water too as well. Um, next up, again Johnny Morris Carbon Light Rod and Reel setup. This one's a medium light. Uh, I throw my, oh, new product, Six Cents uh, Table Rock Go Shad. I think it's what it's called, or Shad, Table Rock Shad. Uh, you can see there, it's kind of got a purple, kind of chartreuse, big profile, shallow road and crate bait. Um, I don't know if it's the Curve 55 or not, I can't remember. Uh, but another product that I'm trying out this year, I don't use a lot of six cents stuff, but um, I'm gonna start using a lot more. Uh, but yeah, next one will be again six cents provoke jerk bait, kind of the same setup or kind of the same color profile as that shad that you saw, purple top, translucent kind of middle and a chartreuse bottom this is on a jordan lee um abu garcia setup that i got for free too so um i'm gonna try this one out like i said it's brand new i haven't used this rod and reel but it looks pretty cool um uh, kind of got his signature series carhartt on there and that's good for those trying to find those fish uh that are lethargic and trying to get a reaction bite. Next setup is my, my favorite. My hook is stuck in my rod. There we go. My favorite. Uh, crankbait, but uh, for rod and reel setups, uh, tournament special with a Browning Old Trusty. I've had this since I was about like 16 years old, probably I'll never let go. Um, and it's paired, uh, like I said, with a tournament special reel, rod, seven foot. I don't throw it, like I said, anything seven foot or less, other than what you just saw that Bill Dance Signature Series. But bait of choice, Spro Rock Crawler, typically throw the throw this around rock yep you're right duh um rock crawler um open water too they bite in open water uh great crankbait it's got a lot of wiggle to it if you haven't used it use it it's got the this one's the molten crawl uh it's basically all crawdad kind of colors uh they have red all sorts of kind of stuff i have a whole bunch of them. my whole tackle box is i have a whole bunch of spro rock crawlers but check them out Next will be my Bass Pro Tournament Special with the Abu Garcia Reel. Beta Choice Swim Jig Bass Pro. Um, kind of got that bluegill color. It's got some green pumpkin, purple, orange, white. I'll throw a speech hat on there too. Little Pro Blue and Choice. One of my go-tos right here. Love to throw this in deep water, uh, around bluffs, rocks, make long casts, and kind of reel it in slow. Try to get that bite from those bass that are chasing shad. Next one, bladed jig, Z-Man, chatterbait, same thing. This one's actually got the speed shad on it. 
uh, same thing, rock, bluffs, uh, around some weeds, uh, shallow, shallow water is where I typically throw this. Uh, again, paired on my, with the Abu Garcia Tournament Special Bass Pro. Um, if that's not working, I'll throw red and black. Red, orange is good for springtime. Um, and if not, I'll throw the trusty black and blue. Uh, and that, I have Guggen clickbaits for that. Like I said, I'm gonna try them out. So if, uh, again, Guggen and uh, Six Cents wanna hit me up, go ahead. But uh, next choice, tournament series special, rod and reel setup. Uh, that is a War Eagle. Like I said, purple's pretty good down there. This one's got some white and black in it. Might throw a trailer on it. I don't typically throw trailers on my, um, on my spinner baits, but uh, you know, that's the thing I guess it's coming to nowadays is throw a trailer on there, throw a trailer on anything. That's my rod and reel setups uh, for springtime fishing. Probably won't utilize all of them for sure. Chatter bait for sure, swim jig for sure, my crank baits for sure, jerk bait um, for sure, definitely the A rig, that's my go to, and Ned rig. Um, like I said, these are just going to help me try to target those fish, see what they're biting, then I'll make my choices and then tie on some other crank baits and things of that sort, some reds, um, but see if the shag color is working or not. But other than that, check me out, Table Rock early april i'll have some video footage of that but uh if you haven't like i said already subscribe to my page uh well it's fishing and then also check me out on um instagram and facebook well it's fishing again until then catch me outside how about that